Your foot drum arrives with the bass drum stowed to the main frame, and to undo that, uh, simply find the bolt that retains the side clip and unscrew that. And now it is free to take off of the nipple, which is off to the side of the bass drum. So again, to put this drum back on, find the nipple on the side of the bass drum, maneuver it around, find the pin, and reconnect. Once that bass drum is off, you might be able to have a better time at tuning it. To tune the bass drum, you just want to be able to find the right pitch for the sound you're looking for. Uh, the kit comes with a drum tuning wrench, which is used to turn the square pegs of the bass drum. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, ways you can tune a drum. I suggest going online and finding the best way for you. Generally, it's with a pattern that shoots across at a star formation so that you don't overtune one side more than the other, so you have an even um, pitch all the way around. And a way to do that is to tap all the way around. This will become uh, shipped with an Aquarian Super Kick one, which means it's a one-ply drum head with a muffling ring that is integrated to the back of the bass drum head. That basically kills some of the overtones of the drum to make it more of a thumping, um, first high impact with a nice low rollover uh, soon afterwards. If you were to go for another drum head, I would suggest the following. From Aquarium. Again, these all have muffling devices attached to them. This is the old jazz standard, which they used to do uh, back in the day for uh, muffling their drum head with a felt strip. This has kind of a nice texture to it, kind of mimicking that uh, drum skin um, head of yesteryear. And this is called the Modern Vintage Medium Drum Head by Aquarian. Again, all these are 18 inch drum heads, um, and they're modified for the most part to be a tom drum. Uh, they also are sold as bass drums, but to get the hoop um, to match the hoop uh, of the uh, bass drum, it is best to get something either tom related or to try those out in the store beforehand. Another uh, drum head that I like is a Super Kick 2, which is two plies, which is two plies of film, so it dampen, dampens it even more it too has that muffling ring on the back, but it is another way to reduce the unwanted overtones. And uh, another version is the Aquarian Regulator, which has its muffling ring centered more towards the middle. It's often sold as a resonator head, but for this unit, it seems to work out really nice to keep um, uh, a nice muffled uh, low-end bass drum sound onto that. And again, you can add some graphics on a black head, but I tend to like um, having it with a clear head so you can see what's going on inside of your drum and as well as customers. Let's go ahead and mount that drum to the front of the base. Oftentimes I'd set this drum up. Actually what we're going to do is probably go ahead and take a look at the pedal features first so that we can have uh, open access to doing that. Again, your drum kit, tool kit, at the back will supply a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. And what that is going to be able to allow you to do is to change the beater position in the back. If this uh, is not um, uh, clearing the snare drum above or the main brace below, then you're going to have to adjust this up and down. But it should come uh, well aligned for doing that. Uh, if your beater coming across at around the center point between the 18 inch stretch, is a, where you're going to more or less want to have that to get a little bit more volume you'll be able to um, achieve that by undoing that with the wrench in the back and scooting the beater a little bit out. This will also allow you to swap out with other types of beaters uh, for a louder harder hit with more attack you can use a wood um, beater that's a little bit harder or a plastic uh, that is quite a bit harder that will get that um, initial attack to hit the head and be a little bit more explosive. This is an all felt beater and it has a nice uh, mellow tone that I appreciate. Um, 
to change, change anything else, uh, you'll be able to do so by flipping over the drum or um, by lifting up your snare and reaching down when you're in the playing mode. But for now, we'll just go ahead and do it like this. This is the uh, spring that is giving the tension for the beater. And what that is allowing you to do is adjust it and create more spring tension and a little tougher, a little bit more uh, restraint on that pedal. Uh, again, a lot of bass drum players have their own preference, but it's just the field preference for the pedal coming down, and nothing really um, can do no wrong when it comes down to it. Let's go ahead and mount this drum. You'll see on the back there are two washers, and that they create a little bit of a tab or a slot in which to put the quarter panels on each side as their connector. And those are going to connect the bottom frame with the bass drum, and we'll soon find out what the other connectors will be. But kind of find that middle ground, you're going to, have to snap in the lugs, and as we find but it does, it tends to want to just go into those slots, but it helps to kind of guide them along. But once those are in, you kind of have a loose fitting, but at the same time, you have your downward pressure pretty much resting on those ledges uh, with the washer. So now what you're going to do is you're going to line up your pin and get that to go into the hole of the side of the bass drum. Same area that the mounted stowed drum was used for. And go ahead and get that nailed down. And you now have a bass drum that is pretty well uh, sturdied onto that frame. Now the way to play this bass drum pedal, uh, there are two ways. Essentially what I have right now, you can kill your bass drum resonance by really stepping into the drum, or you can let it resonate more by releasing it after it hits uh, your bass drum beater. Um, a feature for playing the snare pedal while keeping your foot resting at one spot, either on your heel, on your toe, and have that resonating hit, which is a nice open uh, um, bassy uh, kind of hit, is to turn this clockwise, this piston that is connected to your pedal, and that allows the bass drum beater to hit and slightly recoil, allowing the bass drum head to freely resonate. Uh, again, it's just a micro adjust feature, allowing your foot to keep uh, its, its posture on that front of the pedal and to use its heel to come down onto the snare pedal if it likes. Um, it's a feature that is just for playing style more than it is anything else. Uh, most uh, drum players will obviously have it at a way that they can control it, either they can muffle that sound or they can keep it uh, an open hit. And again, that'll just be a player preference and you'll be able to find out what you like after you play your drum for a little bit longer.